When we're using video, the whole objective is for us to be able to build a relationship, connect and trust with our viewer so that they can ultimately eventually become our paying customer. That is what we're doing right here. You are intrigued by what this video is about and I'm hopefully going to lay out what you need to know to build trust with your audience and hopefully in return, we can find a way to work together and for an ongoing thing. Like that is the point. I'm not ever going to sugarcoat that for you. But I want to make sure you know all of the ways is that you can be using video to build trust with your customer because it can be really easy to get stuck in like, well, what do I make? What do I do? How does this all work? And so we're gonna talk about that and dive into that today. Hi, my name is Desiree and I'm here to help you use video and online marketing to collect leads and convert them into dollars. Now, when we're building trust, you have to make sure that not only are you giving and sharing information correctly, but that it's like fitting into the objectives of your business. So I want you to go grab my free content planning works that I have for you down in the description below. It's going to really like map out for you all the things that you're gonna need to do so that you can have an effective plan, make sure you have your goals set clearly so you know what to do when you show up here in this box. Now, we're on the topic of trust. I want you to know, trust me, I know, I need to iron, iron this. New background, playing with it, trying to find a different way to connect in a different way, but your girl's iron is unobtainable right now. So we're here, okay, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> So one of the things about building trust, like the, the fundamental thing, we're talking about the psychology, the things that are happening in our brain here, we're talking about why video allows for separate or trust our customers is because of all these like little nuanced things that are happening. By seeing my face, by hearing the inflections of my voice and how I say or do things, and then of course like the relatability of like what's going on here in this box is gonna allow for you to identify if like you're like, I like this girl, she knows what she's talking about, or mm -mm, maybe I'm gonna pass and go find someone else. That I connect with more and remember you're not supposed to be for everybody so that is okay if you like someone who's fast talking a little bit nerdy who enjoys sharing information stumbles over her words maybe talks too fast sometimes but is overall well-meaning I'm your girl okay that is how we are building this relationship this trust this bonding thing that's happening here so that is like the psychology of why video is so important because we can see a person we can hear a person it allows for us to like put our defenses down and really either take something in or put our defenses up and like block that person initially being able to connect starts not only with like what we're talking about what we're saying our expertise and all of that it's how we're connected with the person that we're looking at, we're talking to, and we're hearing and learning from. Now, the easiest, bestest, most effective way for us to use video is to tell our story. If you've been on this channel for any other videos or any length of time, or maybe even listen to the podcast I have with a video, you know I have lots of stories. I have lots of experiences. I have lots of traumas, lots of good stuff, lots of getting it done stories to help us on our journeys to get us where we are. I will always connect with people by keeping it real, straight talking to you, and relating to you, but also calling you out on your ish if you are like doing things that are not okay, right? But I'm also gonna give you steps to really work through it. When we tell our stories of our businesses and who we are and what our brand is about, it's going to allow people to connect for us to understand us better. The story of all in one social media is that I help put military spouses to work as social media managers so they can work anywhere that they are stationed around the world. I myself was a military spouse, my mom was also a military spouse, and I saw even over the course of like that 25 year span of time that there was always an issue with military spouses getting work. And I was like, you know what? I know social media really well. Let me train these military spouses on how to do it so that they can then turn this into a viable skill and I can put them to work and we can all make money together. Like that is the story of how this happened. And you know, I mean, obviously there's a lot more details to it and we go into it more in different spaces, but that is the example. That is that connecting and relatability point that we are building together. I think it's also important to mention with your story, the more real, the more vulnerable, the more filled with flaws and victories that it is, the better it'll be. No one wants a highlight reel. Like we're talking about our customers, maybe you're like, oh, all the successes and this is what we their problem was, this is how we fixed it. We're talking about us as business owners, this as individuals, being able to talk about like, this is us struggling, this is what sucked. This is like what we're going through that sucks. And then being able to share like once you get out of it or how you got out of it, really allows people to know like, yes, thank you so much. That's probably one of the most successful videos on my channel right now is my YouTube channel is dying. It's because I'm rebuilding it and trying to find the right audience and a better audience versus what it was bringing in before. And it's doing real, and the comment I get over and over again is thank you so much for sharing this hard stuff. Thank you so much for being vulnerable and real about like what is going on in your business so that we can learn from it as well because it's so easy to forget that success does not come without struggles. So share your stories, warts and all. Now, my other favorite way to use video 
is going to do the video testimonials. One, because it doesn't require your face. Like you don't have to do all of this extra work to get all video camera ready, right? But it allows for your customers to sing your praises. If you're able to accurately present them with like what problem they had and how you fixed it and what the results have been, that's gonna be able to do miles and monumental dollars for you in a way that you didn't know before. Because it's one thing for me to tell you how great I am and what I've done. It's another thing for other people to say it and do it and like what that success really does look like. So if you want more video testimonials, I have a card you can watch right here. It's gonna walk you through like how to make video testimonials so that you can have success in that vein. Next, we want to answer questions. Now, one of the cool things about our businesses is that people are always asking us questions all the time. We're gonna be getting asked questions for things like, how do you do this? Is this the right thing? What do you recommend for this? Take those questions and turn them into videos. And then as you're videoing and building an audience online, people will ask you questions in the comments, like take those comments and straight up put them on the screen, answering the questions that they have. Like, okay, Sue, this is the answer to this question that you had. And so I think it's more like, I did a video, my last video, if you look on my timeline, is about threads. Someone had asked me about threads in uh, the video that I had posted before that, and I was like, yes, of course, someone's gonna ask me a question, I am going to respond. So you want to answer questions and, and do it in a way that makes it really easy for you. On the vein of asking, answering questions, you guys wanna educate your audience. So this is me educating you about video marketing, like why it's important, why it's effective, and why you should be doing this for your business. When you're educating your audience or solving the problems that they have or they didn't know that they had or that maybe they needed. As an education channel myself, this is a lot of what I do here. I still relate, I still tell stories, I still connect, but I'm also not like how toing it to death, right? So you wanna educate your audience by answering questions so they can build trust because if your knowledge and your expertise that you are kind of proving is going to be conveyed through video. In fact, my next one to see is like prove your expertise. Like by educating your audience, answering questions, all that you're proving your expertise in what you're doing and having a success. And you can really like amp up your expertise by talking about like case studies and examples of things that you have done that have, and the results that it has given you. And even if it's like, again, we did this and it totally flopped, like again, your experience is something you can bring to the table and video is a great way to present that. Now, it's important, and I feel like I need to put this in here real quick, like all this video stuff, like you still have to record the video. And one of the things that really causes a lot of pe problems for people, in my opinion, is that they get bottlenecked and like all caught up in the whole like process. Like what's the lighting, what's the camera, what's my face, am I shiny, my makeup, is my background, a whole thing. Like I get it, like I'm a whole situation here. Okay, your girl's a production. Okay, so I get where that can be overwhelming. That's why you wanna have the right tool in place to really simplify this for you, which is why I. I use and recommend people use StreamYard. StreamYard is a browser-based video recording platform. You can go live, you can record remotely, you can just record straight videos, you can do interviews, podcasts, everything that you would ever need from video production you can do with this really simple to use browser-based tool. I've been using StreamYard for almost like five years at this point and it is my go-to platform that I use over and over again for all areas of my business. Like if there was one tool I was only allowed to use for my business from like now until forever it would be StreamYard. So make sure you go check them out for free in the description that I have for you down below and see all of the wildly amazing capabilities that this tool has. It's not just one thing, but so much more. And of course it's super affordable and browser-based. Like it's just, the learning curve on it is so low, it's amazing. So now we're gonna spill the tea. Like that's my next recommendation to you for like videos that you can make. Your girl loves to prove people wrong. Be a little controversial and really just like nail things that are happening. When you're spilling the tea, the secrets of your industry, the controversies, the this or that, your personal opinion about something, that always gets people into you. Like my last video again was like threads. Do you even need to be there? I believe my thumbnails is something like seriously another one because I'm like, I literally woke up my first day back from vacation and the internet was like, hey, here's a new social network. And I was like, God, all the bad words were said because I'm like, I don't want to figure out another social network. I just want to keep cruising along with my business and doing things well and making content better for people and finding new creative ways to use the platforms, not have to learn a whole new platform. It's very distracting. It's this all this stuff, but it's also a really fun, great tool to use. It's all these things. I'm digressing. So I'm spill I spilled the tea about like what I felt about this app and why I think it's necessary. Not necessarily gonna go watch the video to see my true thoughts and opinions, but it's a whole thing. Spill the tea, be a little controversial, okay? Get people's attention, but don't ever be like clickbaity or disingenuous and always follow through with what you say you're going to talk about. 
Now I sit in my box a lot here in this seat and share and educate and talk to you, but I really love to like get out of my space from time to time and do a little vlog action, a little behind the scenes, a little taking you with me on my journey because if it's just me talking in this box all the time, how are you gonna know me, relate to me, trust me if I'm just like in this perfectly manicured situation? So by taking your customers behind the scenes of what you do, maybe a day in the life, maybe a vlog or something, maybe just talking to your staff, your team, going on jobs, doing these different things. It's gonna allow for you to build a lot of trust with your customers because you're gonna be able to show and share in a way you might not have thought about doing before. And by having that extra way to connect, it really breaks down that wall that you might have with your customer because we don't live in a world anymore where the brand is up here and is just omnipotent and unobtainable. People want to really relate and connect to the brands that they love and they care about, and that starts with you as well. Now, I do not have a physical product. Like, I do not like rock. Like, this is not my cup like that I can show off, right? But I do think it's important for you to show off your product. There's a whole industry around like user generated content and creating content for people and stuff. In fact, I have a whole video. Again, I have lots of videos I'm recommending today. Uh, a whole video up here, this side, uh, where I talk about like, how I create video content for our customers. And sometimes we have like a whole shoot that we set up and like we do things and all that. But you can just show off your product like here in your box. Like it doesn't have to be this whole production, this whole situation. It can just be you talking about it, showing it off, being excited about it and like what it can do and all of its wonderful capabilities. So show off your product, even if it might not be an actual physical tangible thing. Like for me, when I show off my product, I'd like share the screen or what I'm doing or case studies and stuff like that. Show it off, cause it's awesome. Now, I cannot express this much. Like all of these things that we've talked about, we really have to make sure that we're exuding the right emotions to be successful. We wanna be vulnerable and we wanna have some humor. I try really hard to be myself and it's usually kind of sassy. Sometimes there's like humor. I make sure that we have appropriate gifts and things happening on the screen to hold your attention and hopefully make you giggle. I also try to be really real and vulnerable with you, like letting you know about the actual details of my life. Like again, my YouTube channel is dying or my husband has PTSD or I'm really struggling with my kids or my dog died, like all of these things that kind of come into it. And so it's really important for you to share your realness, your trueness, because that's what connecting to people is. Think about the relationships you have in real life. And the ones that are the good ones are the ones where you have been able to be your real self and that person has accepted you, helped you, guided you, been there for you through that, and then they have done that back with you. Because I've been vulnerable and real with people throughout my brand, I get that back from people. And I have had many crying sessions, many advice sessions, many come to Jesus moments for people where we're just walking through and getting in. We have built this really strong bond and connection. And that is what you can do through video so easily. Now, I have talked about a couple different videos that you can recommend. You can watch this video right here for video testimonials and want this one right here where I talk with you about how I create video for my customers. Until then, deuces.